All right, this is a TCAP practice test for grade 8, the math one. This is question number 50. Uh, the distance from the planet Venus to the sun is about 1.08 times 10 to the 8th kilometers. Light travels at a rate of 3 times 10 to the 5th kilometers per second. How much time in seconds does it take for the light to travel from the sun to Venus? Well, if you know that the formula for uh, distance is rate times time, this becomes very easy. So I just do the distance is 1.08 times 10 to the 8th kilometers. My rate would be 3.0, point, or 3.0. I don't know why I felt the need to do that. I hate it when they don't put the thing on there for some reason. 3 times 10 to the 5th kilometers per second times x number of seconds. So it's just like solving an equation. You draw your line. And uh, let me mark this out and make it look like a T, because that's a little bit of a, a weird thing to deal with there. So I just divide by 3.0 times 10 to the fifth. Same thing here. And that gives me T. So I just go back in, and I do 1.8 times 10 to the 8th and divide that by 3 times 10 to the 5th and it gives me 360. So the answer to number 50 is H. Well, what happens if I get to test day and then I forget and sort of lose my mind a little bit about how I'm or the formula, like I can't remember, it's distance, rate, time, something or other. Maybe it's time is distance times rate. Is it rate times distance equals time? So you lose your mind and forget the formula. Well, you can think about this logically and still get the right answer if you just think about what the question says. It says the distance from planet Venus to the sun, so here we've got the sun. It looks like a terrible lion, doesn't it? And then I've got some little planet Venus here. Now the distance is 1.8 1.08 times 10 to the 8th kilometers. Now I am a ray of light, which is nice for me to be, but whatever. It's my shiny personality. Uh, light travels at a rate of 3.10 to the 5th kilometers per second, which means I'm breaking this into little sections that last a second that are 3 times 10 to the 5th kilometers. And then I do another one, and do another one, and do another one, and do another one. If you break a distance into parts, you're dividing it into individual parts, which should help you remember to use divide. In fact, I forgot the formula for a second, and that's how I did it in my head before I did the formula. So you know I have my original distance, and I need to break it into parts, right? So you would do the same exact math, and you'd still get... 360 without having to write down a formula or anything. And you don't even have to draw a hideous sun. So if you would uh, rather look at it that way, just think logically about what the question is really asking you to do. You can get the right answer. No big deal.